What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, the very first episode, we started off with this beautiful game and made our way through uh, uh, the, the Forsaken City. And in this episode, we're going to start off by going to the old site and begin our, our climb with Chapter 2. So, yeah, let's hop into it. I'm glad those there, there there exist some of you that are excited for this game. Obviously, it's not as uh, big of a hit as something like Dog Rampa or what it may be, but this game definitely has a, you know deserves all the attention it does get. Regardless, stra strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. Oh, that's so reassuring. That's like oh, just so you know, these are for like the people that are completionists, the people that really want those challenges. And if that's something that's up your alley, go for it because doing that is going to be the reward. It's not like you need to do so. But if it's going to stress you out and not going to be fun to play, then don't bother. Good guy, Celeste. <laughs> Ooh. What is going on in the background? Whoa, why is everything all, like, jumbled up? That's so cool. All right. Can I make it up there? I can't. All right, um, can I go in here? There's a door in the background. No, okay. What is that? Is it gonna fall on me? We're about to find out. Is it bad? No? Okay. What is, what is this floating around the, the room? I don't know. I'm so curious though. So clearly I can go down here. It's so like, like foggy and everything. What is up with this platform? Will it move if I dash into it? What if I like cling to it on one side? No? Whoa, I didn't even realize that was a platform. Oh. It has like, no, those aren't arrows. Huh. I don't know. I've got to do something though, right? Can I do something? Game, if you're trying to teach me a lesson here, it ain't working. Now I'm just down here, wondering why I can't get this. Something to do with these things? Just to like push them over? No. Okay, I guess. So confused, but I guess it's whatever. We'll move on. Wait, can I go down further? I can. What's down here? Wait, was that an exclamation point? No, okay. So here's more of like a traditional looking room, but at the same time, I clearly need to be over on the left side if I want to get that strawberry. So I will not be reaching it from here. And that, I'm pretty sure that was the, the room that we were just at. Can I weaken this? Oh, I can. Is there, what, what am I supposed to do in here? This looks at least a little bit more familiar. Oh, darn. Fly! What do you... Get out of my face. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I tried to go back up and over. Clearly I need to go over like this. There we go. Okay, then from here we can do something like that. Fly, go away! Celeste is my game to play! 
Not you. <laughs> um, no! Get away from my controller! Away! Elsewhere! Please! <laughs> Stupid fly. Okay. Ooh, so that platform fell. Worth noting. What is up with the camera here? So there's a mirror. Anything over here? Ooh. What? <laughs> what? What was up with that? Oh, so now that I have the mirror... Well... Oh! Oh, I can go up through them. Interesting. Huh? Oh! So this is something that allows me to fly! No, no, not not allows me to fly. The fly will not leave me alone. Uh, okay, so that allows me to get a better like view around whatever room I'm in. Interesting, and this one's moving. Probably don't want to get hit by that. Oh! Wait, now what though? Now what? Oh, I, I can dash through them though. Also, the the animation of what's her name, Madeline, going through the like gel or whatever thing it is is really cool. Also, I this fly is gonna be the end of me, and literally every comment is gonna be like, "Man, this fly, this like this guy kept talking about this fly the whole time. I'm gonna go insane because this fly keeps like landing right by where my controller is. It's like every single time." I focus on the screen and then all of a sudden fly. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna resume in just a minute. Fly has been killed. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. There was only one. Alright, let's see if we can go down here. Wait, what? How am I supposed to get down there? I know there is a strawberry down there. The question is, how do I get to it? I can't go this way. So... I don't know. I don't know, guys. So I know there is a strawberry there, but how do I get it? Is it maybe like a... I can see it being like... Oh, what? I died from that. Interesting. I thought there might be a like... Let's see what happens if I die if I do this. Oh, interesting. I thought there might have been like a hidden wall or something there, but no. Alright, well, that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, this will probably be one of those, like, I need to end up looking it up at some point. It was a real disappointment, but... Oh well, I guess. I'm not seeing many indicators of where to go. And regardless, we've got a lot more to uh, to play. So it looks like it just takes you as like a straight line through, which is pretty cool. Let's head back down here, because I'm really curious. I I'll probably have to go down through this one. Ooh. Oh, there's the, there's the rectangle. <laughs> Can't remember. Can't help but think of Patrick. Rectangles! <laughs> okay, so this is gonna switch back and forth. Let's jump on here. Oh, so I've gotta go through here when it's like that. Okay. Neat. Now, what is this? B side unlocked. B side? Is that. that, that well, first of all, that is most certainly a cassette. 
What is it playing? What is this audio? <laughs> that's that's pretty neat. I don't I don't know what the B side is, but whoa! Oh, and it takes us through that. Well, I guess this isn't the route to the I don't know the strawberries, unfortunately. Anything we can do over here now? No. There's still that one strawberry over there. I want to find out how to get it, but I don't know. Ooh. What happens if I do that? What is that? What is it doing? Do I have to like get them all or something? I feel like that might be the case. Oh, but I can't hit another... Watch, when I did that, I think it went away. Or was it because I dashed? Or was it because I jumped? No, it probably just reached me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what those do. I'm so curious, though. Alright, so clearly I need to do something like this. Neat. Make it through here. There's a strawberry over there. Oh, dang. Cool, well, we made that work. What's over this way? More of these guys? So it's pretty apparent I need to go up through here. Oh, I need a bit more height, okay. Oh wait, no, I need to angle myself better. That's what it really comes down to. That was not the, uh... Wait, what? Oh! Interesting. Um... Let's see here. I obviously have to use my dash to get up there, though, so that's not gonna work. Um... I still think this is the intended route. I just need to get optimal height. Or wait, I'm not gonna be able to dash through the second, the second one, am I? So how am I gonna be able to get through two of these after going through one? Right? Hmm, I'm not seeing it. What is this pink fog? Let me let me try this again just to be safe. That was not the intent. But it looks like I'm gonna... Do I replenish my dash? Oh, I do. That makes a big difference. Why did I... Why did I do that? But either way, I learned. Cool. And I can dash through them after wall jumping in them, which is pretty neat. Looks like there's a way down here. There is. Cool. Oh, now I'm trapped in here again, but that's okay. Because we know where to go. Um, and that where to go is over there. Okay. Now... We can head back to be... Is this where we're supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Where's the intended route again? I don't remember. Let's try up here. No. I think it's gonna be up here. Oh yeah, that's where we initially went. The whole way to go is probably to the right of here. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this way. Or, rather, let's go back, because there was something that was perplexing earlier. And, yeah, I want to see what's going on over here. Oh, my. So, first of all, there's clearly something to explore up here. 
and it looks relatively like a one-off thing, so that's pretty cool. What we can do... Ah, I see. Nice. Alright, 24. Let's, um... Start by doing this. And let's aim... Like that. No! Alright, that works. Now we can go up here. So what's going on over here? Ah, I see. This reminds me of like the various like Pokemon block puzzles with strength, especially like Pokemon Crystal. Or the ice cave or cavern or whatever it is. Madeline, darling, slow down. Huh? Ooh, why is everything getting all, like, fuzzy? Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you... me? I'm part of you. Ooh, fancy. Why would part of me look so creepy? This is just what I look like, okay? <laughs> you don't need to offend her, Madeline. Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget about it. You're sure this isn't like our dark evil side or something? I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? Yeah, that's right. Madeline can be whatever she wants to be. I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? <laughs> I love it. And I mean, obviously this is putting things in context too, right? This is one of, this is a challenge that Madeline is taking on for herself to prove to herself that she can do something like this, to inspire herself. I'm the pragmatic part and I'm trying to be diplomatic here. I love how her face just kind of like went out of the text box there. Let's go home together. How about, no. Oh! She's attacking me! Well, that certainly changes things. <laughs> Why did I get all... Why did I mess that up? I guess we're uh, on the chase now. Cool. Okay. Um, how am I supposed to get that? Oh, I see. There's a hidden passage, I'm sure. Darn. But I messed it up. There we go. Oh, but then I need to wait for my dark side. Oh, wait. I already have it. But I guess that's what I would have needed to do. <laughs> No! Darn it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. No! Oh, just that little, little tight cavern there. There we go. Okay, what is that? Oh! I didn't even see that in the lower left corner. I love the sound effect, like a doorbell. Why do I keep jumping right into her? Okay. So there are a lot of these. Oh. So what's also interesting to note is that um, she follows my path. It's not a matter of like, her tracking me, per se, so much as it is a mix of doing a couple things, right? She's just following in my path. Wait, there are three of them now? Huh? When did I sign up for that? Okay, so that's obviously the tough part of that. 
And the thing is, as fast as I go, they're gonna go fast too. Oh man, so I gotta be really fast. Also, I think it'll be helpful to, um, to, what's it called, uh, only stay towards, like, the left side of platforms and everything. Okay. So, like, I have that. Although, I am, uh, I actually do want to let them kill me here. So I can try going to the left. Because I feel like... That's something I can potentially dash through. Oh, really? Can I not, though? They even dash in the same spots as me. Okay, Doesn't, looks like I can't uh, dash there. That's good to know. Alright, well, we'll figure it out some other time, I guess. Oh, man. Oh, and there's a... There's a strawberry there, too. Oh, I can totally do that. Let's see here. Oh, wait, the whole point of that was to not do that. Is there anything up there? There totally is. Let's see here. Cool. Oh, and I don't have to worry about them following me. It's kind of nice. Anything else of interest up here? While I'm up here, I might as well explore, right? Um. Oh, okay. I guess we're starting back here again. Oh, that's right. I'll have a dash after that. I should really take advantage of that. Oh, I gotta jump back and forth there. Oh man, just a bit too much. And I can afford to slide down that ice block. Gotta remind myself of that. But I do need to preserve my dash. Ooh, I didn't think I got it, but I did see here. That was not good. Oh, but I preserved my dash. Okay. I'm actually quite shocked I made it through there alive. Oh! Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. No, no! I, I'm pretty sure going down to the right there is how to finish the level, um, but I need to get that strawberry, so we're holding ourselves to some higher standards. Alright, and down we go. No! <laughs> Darn. I was also wondering if there was like a shortcut on the left side of the screen there. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but... Like, right under here. Yeah, it looks like there might actually be. So, we'll probably look into that. Though, it doesn't look like it's too much of a problem at the moment. Okay, anything else of interest over here? Doesn't look so. Oh, wait, they're still in here? Okay, at least I'm not, like, dying completely. Um, anything else of interest? It just, like, disappeared. Alright, well, I guess we can keep on moving this way, then. Do we escape? I don't know. Anything of interest down here? No? Okay. <laughs> Room seemed relatively har harmless. It's like you gotta wonder, you know, why, right? So clearly I can go up here, but I think even more importantly, 
I can go down. I feel like this is where the, the real secret is, you know? Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. I think what I need to do... I've got an idea. Aw, oh, I didn't think I'd launch up that high. That's alright. Oh, I wanna wall like cling to the the side of that one. There we go. Okay, and now we do the same thing to get back. Or just die. And make life a little bit easier in that regard. Do I go up here? Let's let's see what's going on up here. Ooh, this is really cool. Oh wait, darn it. I got ahead of myself. That was a really cool setup. I like that one a lot. Okay, over here then. Anything else? I mean, I'm gonna want to head up here just to see, but... Anything down here? No. Anything up here? In here? No. Okay. Ooh, what is... What are you? Information desk? Is this like a... like a gondola? Telephone? Madeline, you gotta pick up the phone! Someone's calling you! Could be important. Hello? Madeline? Ooh, who are you with your green hair? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah? No, wait. You called me. <laughs> yeah, I think you have this the uh, the other way around, whoever we're talking to. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. Do you... Does this person really exist? You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. Oh, nobody's believing us. You always do this. Shh. It's alright. Calm down. Sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I found this old mirror and it shattered, but part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? <laughs> Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Whoa! Whoa, that's so weird! So clearly this is somebody Madeline has been ta has talked to and wants to be talking to, and all of a sudden she she's potentially only calling him in, you know, her dreams. And wow, that's such a weird way to... S Ugh, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? Wow, that's incredibly discouraging. And of course, we've got Dark Madeline. I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. Yeah, I don't know about that. Whoa. What? What? Did we get, like, the bad end somehow? <laughs> I love the phone hanging out. Huh? Oh. I was dreaming. It actually was a dream. Whoa. That's so cool. Anything of interest up here? Oh. Ho ho ho. I'm so curious. I love the exploration in this game. It's a little overwhelming at times, but I do love it. What is... Who are you? Why can I interact with you? There's a dusty old book open on the table. A poem is written on the faded page. An apparition, not of this world, but because of it lurking out of frame, awaken, awake my heart as a fortress. In dreams I am vulnerable. In dreams I am vulnerable. Is this all a dream? Probably not. Hmm. Interesting. So presumably this is inaccessible and this is what the poem is talking about. Can we really not get it? You can like feel it beating too. Dang, that is really cool. There's gotta be, is there really nothing more to do with it? Let's read this one more time. Not of this world, but because of it, 
lurking out of frame. Hmm. Awake. My heart is a fortress. In dreams, I am vulnerable. So maybe the the idea is I need to come up here during the like dream part of this level. That's all I can think of. We'll see. I'll give it a go. Is this Theo again? Hey, Theo! Sorry about earlier. I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, this is a good place for it. Something about these runes feels so introspective. It's really making me take a look in the mirror, so to speak. <laughs> Fitting. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Madeline's very familiar with that. So what far-off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical, enigmatic kingdom of... Seattle. <laughs> Seattle? I wasn't expecting a real-world place. Sounds like a special place. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well, I guess we'll continue onward. What's over this way? Anything of interest under here? Maybe? Maybe not? No? Just over here? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. We'll continue onward. Dig in the dash. Anything up here? No, doesn't seem so. Boing, boing, boing. Anything up here? No, okay. How about up there? No. Maybe up here though. Nice. Ooh, okay. I'm digging it. I realized my mistake, but it was already too late. Nice. Got it just before it ran off. This feels more of like a like a hub than the actual, you know, like level. Hmm, anything down here? No. Anything up here? Nope. Doesn't seem so. Then, oh, this is the real deal. This is the real thing, not our dream one that's gonna, you know, eat us up. Uh. Hello? Hey, Mom. Aw, I'm calling her Mom. I love it. I love it. Madeline, what a nice surprise. How's your trip? Aw, Mom's... I'm such a mama's boy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh, no. Are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? Aw, so loving and caring. So beautiful. I can obviously see there are a lot of themes regarding, you know, mental health and anxiety and panic and, you know overcoming challenges for yourself and oh I'm loving it <laughs> love these screens at the end so great what a what a cool level you know with the dreams and everything how many strawberries do we end up getting 15 out of 18 okay this is not too bad not too shabby although I wouldn't say that there's anything that immediately comes to mind as like uh oh we didn't explore that area and we finally discovered what that rectangle was it's the b-side cassette whatever that means and we didn't find it in the first world, or the first chapter, which is pretty telling because there's still two strawberries and the B-side, and uh, that means there's a whole area we probably haven't explored, so we'll have to check that another time. But I think, given that we made our way up through the runes, and that took a decent amount of time, or the runes, the old site, and now we're up, what, what's up, what's up next? The Celestial Resort. That's pretty neat looking. So we're going to tackle that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Again, no no backtracking at the end. <laughs> that Hopefully uh, it was not you know too boring or anything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are enjoying not just the platforming, not just the music, not just the visuals, not just my attempts at figuring things out, not all, not just all of that, but also a lot of the themes that are being touched on here. There's, It's clear that there is a message. It's clear that there is a deep story even if it's only being told in a few words but through all of the challenges all of the the body language all of the interactions it's clear um that there is a very important story underlying here and i hope you guys are enjoying seeing that as it's developing because i certainly am but 
Anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.